Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about RAID. Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So you've probably seen me uh, talk about these network attached storage devices before. These are just the little uh, boxes that you can add a couple of hard drives to and use them for storage on your network. But what I haven't discussed is RAID and the different um, hard drive uh, settings that are available to you and why you would want to use the, the different ones that are there. So the, the first one that uh, you would use would be what's called standard. And with the standard drives, you set up the hard drives as individual drives, just like you would in a computer. So you would have on, say, one of these two bays, you would have a volume one and a volume two. The second one is called JBOD. That's J-B-O-D, and it just stands for just a bunch of disks. And what it does is it takes the two disks, or four, if you were to use the four bay, and it connects them together into one giant volume. Now, the problem with that is if one of your drives was to die, you're going to lose your information. So there's uh, a couple of different ways that you can save your information, and that's using RAID. Now, the first level of RAID that I wanted to talk about was RAID 0, and that's called striping. Now, striping won't protect your data. Striping is more for speed on the hard drives. So the way striping works is the uh, NAS box writes to both drives at the same time. So half of the information goes to one drive and half of the information goes to the second drive. So it's reading from both at the same time. Now, if you did want to protect your information, you would use what's called RAID level one, and that's mirroring. And what that does is it writes the same exact information to both drives at the same time. If one of the drives dies, you can just put another drive in there and it's going to copy the information from the first drive onto the second drive. So to get the best of both worlds, what we want to do is uh, use a four bay network attached storage and use RAID 5. Now what that does is it creates striping with parity. And what that means is that it's going to be copying the information to multiple hard drives at the same time with the striping and at the same time it's creating a mirror so that if any one of these four drives was to fail you can just put a new drive in and the network attached storage device will automatically rebuild that uh, hard drive with your data on it. Now there is a key to using RAID 5 and that's the way that it works. If I say put four one gigabyte hard drives into this and I use RAID 5, you're only gonna have three gigabytes of actual storage space because one fourth of the space is being used for that backup. So um, let's go ahead and go into the lab and take a look at how to set these up. To change the configuration of your hard drives, all you need to do is log in uh, and go to the advanced tab at the top and you'll already be at the RAID button. You'll click on this reconfigure all existing hard drives button here to bring up the options. Now if you're doing this with a new unit and new drives, it'll be part of the installation wizard that you will go through uh, when you start the installation process of the hardware. Now, as you can see, it's just as simple as choosing which uh, RAID level or you know standard um, setup that you want to go with. But the most important thing that I want you to know is that if you change from standard to JBOD to you know RAID one, if you change from one configuration to another, you need to back up your data because it will reformat the hard drive because it's completely reconfiguring how the drives are used. 
So as you can see, if you have uh, data that you wanna make sure that you don't lose, if it's really important information, the best thing to do would be if you had a two bay network attached storage to use mirroring. And if you had uh, a four bay, you would wanna use striping with parity. So that's gonna do it for this episode of Dealing TV DIY. I'm Mike and thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.